Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Megan, I've got just a little tip for guys related to their trailer, their boat trailer. Okay. And a way to kind of just make things a little bit easier for them as they're traveling, as they begin the, the fishing season and kind of are getting the boat and the trailer ready to go for this season. Stick around, guys. We'll be back with that tip right after this. Welcome back to MFO, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. I'm Megan Fuller. Before we get to that tip, Megan, I just would like to say, guys, Megan, we talk about this all the time. 50%, if not more, of the people who are watching this video right now mm -hmm. are not subscribers. And guys, we would certainly appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. We are working Monday through Friday to put out content for you. It would really be a way for you to support the channel, and we appreciate that. We are not the kind of channel that's asking you to send us money or do things like that. The support that you can give us is twofold. Hit the subscribe button, send us comments, hit the like button, and send us ideas so that we can keep putting out content that you like. So we'd appreciate it if you would help us out in those ways yeah. and support the channel in those ways. You don't even you can keep your checkbook and your your PayPal and all that to yourself. And that's the way we would like you to support the channel. Thank you. We appreciate that. So let's talk about this trailer tip. And this is actually related to license plate. This is the license plate from last year's boat trailer. Yikes. See how it's bent? Yep. Well, here's what happens. That trailer, that that license plate gets mounted up at the top. And then what happens is your boat gets put in the water. Okay. And then you pull the boat out. And as you drive out of the lake, that water oh. bends your bends your license plate because there's no bracket on the back. It's just okay. held up by the top. So what I did is I went to the hardware store mm -hmm. and got a piece of angle iron that has holes in it. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is just... Take that angle iron, line it up to my holes, cut the piece of angle iron so that I've got one on the back here and one on the back on this side. All right. And then mount my license plate with that angle iron behind it. That will make it sturdy so that it will not bend. Oh, okay. So you're not moving it or putting it in a different location. You're just adding something to make it stronger. All I'm doing is adding this angle and with that angle there it won't bend at all the um that's just a principle of fabrication and so you'll put that on there and it'll stay sturdy the whole time so let's get the camera i can walk you through how i did this and then we'll mount it and we'll see how sturdy it is okay, okay let's do it all right All right, so now we've cut our two pieces of angle iron uh, to the right length so that they are just the size of the the width of the, the license plate. Okay. Now I'm just gonna mount those two pieces of angle iron to the back of the license plate and then mount it onto the trailer. So you can kind of film while I'm doing that and we'll see how that goes and then we'll see how sturdy it is okay okay do you so you mount these to the license plate or you mount these to the to the trailer well first? both the trailer bracket and the license plate so you'll see when we get into okay. doing that okay. okay all right see how we're doing that okay i'm gonna put this here and then i'm just gonna put this through here and 
through there. I'm just putting this here right now to hold that uh -huh. up. And then I've got a lock washer and a nut to put on the other side. And there it is. Voila. All right. Okay. That's and good. then if you can just kind of look at the ah. back side and see what that looks like. So, Megan, that's, that's it. It's not a big thing, and it's definitely not expensive. I think it was like $3.50 or something like that for the angle iron, and I've got enough angle iron to do next year's boat left over. All it does is it keeps you from ending up with a, with a license plate that kind of gets bent out of, out of shape. I kind of like it. I like, I like, you know, to look good as I'm going down the road and, and, it just keeps that plate, you know, nice. Um, it's four screws instead of the two that you would normally put up, and then the two pieces of angle iron. And and you, uh, you saw that we cut the, that angle iron with a grinder. You can use a grinder. You can use a hacksaw, a uh, a sawzall, whatever you need to do to cut that, and and it works just fine. So guys, hope hopefully this was you know uh, informative to you. Maybe you want to get out there and. Firm up that license plate before you get out there in the springtime. Do it while the boat's in the garage for the winter. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another tip from Mark Fisher Outdoors. Stay channeled.